you finally went and saw Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness after like a week and a half, right? Yeah. I managed okay. to avoid Dude. some spoilers, but um, yeah. Yeah, I want to hear about it. Uh, I wonder, should we go through the spoiler, like what spoilers you got first? Or do you want to go, do you want to talk about it, that? It was not there that, it wasn't that much actually. It was just the, um, it's crazy because YouTube, I would, I'd see thumbnails of, uh, you know, Mr. Fantastic. And that was about it. Oh. And then I think I saw, um, there was like an analysis of the hand of Professor X. So I kind of knew oh. those, those two going in. I think those so you, were the biggest things. You knew John Krasinski was going to be Mr. Fantastic. Yep. Yep. Oh, man. Yeah, that kind of sucks. I, I had no idea of either of those things. But, uh, okay, you, you just saw this, like, what, two days ago? Yeah, yeah. So what are your thoughts? Let's, hear, actually, let's hear your review. I would say it was one of the better marvel movies you know much right. better than um all the previous stuff that had come on you know talking about like moon knight i was i was getting marveled out mm -hmm. and um what was the other thing that it was uh too fantastical but i was surprised actually i was fine with it i was fine with the the there was a lot of like dragon ball z fighting going on fireballs and magic versus magic but they did a pretty mm -hmm. good job of it i liked it britney Loved it because really? of the uh, the horror themes. She's right? like a big fan of like Frankenstein and and just the whole general, you know, haunted feeling. And they had like haunted houses too. So she loved it. <laughs> so is it... It... I'm sorry, what? What did you think of it? I, I mean, you, you kind of like know about my thoughts a little bit more because I talked about it last week, right? Yep. Um, but yeah, I I really liked it. The horror elements in this movie are they just worked for me. And I remember hearing back in the day that Sam Raimi was going to direct it after the other director had uh, exited the project. And uh and so I was like, okay, so we're getting a horror style Marvel movie directed by Sam Raimi. I I I already had high expectations and it didn't disappoint. Yeah. Uh, the, I, the, the, I feel good. like, I feel like it was kind of a thriller almost like, um, I don't remember if I saw, if I said this last time, but it felt, Oh, I didn't say it. It was like a Marvel, uh, Terminator two. Like you've seen Terminator, right? Yeah. Okay. I think maybe so more you, like Terminator one. Terminator one was more the horror. Because like yeah, well yeah, I guess I, I I guess I should just generalize. It's a bit of, it's just, it's a chase movie. Yeah. And uh, and they did a really really good job at it. I think I think it had all the right elements. Um. And I feel I feel like there wasn't ever a dull moment, with with the movie. There was a lot of close calls where I was like why are they doing this it's gonna suck if it does this and then it, they subvert your expectations and it's like amazing Wait, like, like what the part where um america was fighting scarlet which it was like a moment of like she starts punching scarlet witch and she's like stumbling i was like holy smokes don't tell me she's gonna beat her this is gonna be so cheesy if she beats scarlet witch right and then she admits i can't beat you I was like, good, good choice. Good choice of words. <laughs> I know. I um did you did you know that Scarlet was gonna be the bad guy? No. I did not. So what what were your expectations going into it and then compared to what we got? Like when uh the forest scene, because they played the like the Easter egg scene in the end of um Far From Home, you know, she's in her orchard or whatever. Mm -hmm. So the fact that they show that you're under the impression, oh, it's a, you know, it's a good guy conversation, Avenger to Avenger. And then all of a sudden he catches her in her lie and then psh, the reveal. And I was like, holy smoke. 
she's gonna yeah. be the bad guy for this one i was kind of like bummed about it because you know we just watched her in wandavision and mm-hmm. like you're invested in it and all of a sudden she's like going bad you're like ah, that sucks but i liked it <laughs> uh, that's not like i was like disappointed by it but it was really good i didn't know that was gonna happen it surprised me but i feel like i like it was like a, an expected surprise like i knew something was going to be different than everything i had heard because uh, like you I, I only saw what we saw at the end of uh, mm-hmm. of no way home and like yeah like going and seeing wandavision and the way that ends i i wouldn't have thought that she was going to be the bad person but the funny thing is like even watching that conversation in her uh what did you call it an or- orchard the orchard or- thing yeah orchard um i started getting the vibe that she was like maybe not not in agreement with 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 uh, dr strange and then she's like oh you never mentioned that her name was america was it yeah. and i was like oh she's a bad guy she's a bad guy yeah. oh and i yeah i mean i guess it kind of made sense so I, I really enjoyed it. I think I remember they actually hinted at it in the end of WandaVision. Well... When she had um, the black fingertips. Oh, see, I don't remember the black fingertips. I remember her studying the... Uh, what did you... What did they call it? The... The hole. Dark hole. The dark hole, yeah. Yeah. So she's studying that, right? Like, she's going into all these kind of, like, different... Uh, whatever she's doing when she's floating there. And... Like, even though it it does give you a bit of a creepy vibe, I I didn't think she was going to go evil. I thought she was just going to uh, be more of a, maybe like an anti-hero. Mm. So my expectations were, okay, Doctor Strange will somehow, like, I, I thought this was going to be like a, a an after effect of like Spider-Man. And so he goes and contacts her and then she would be like, okay, I'll help you. But she's got like her own agenda. And so, and that's what would cause like contention later in the movie, kind of like the, the, the climax of it. Like, yeah. oh, she's got a choice of either going her own way and then sacrifices like Dr. Strange for her own sake or not. Or does she do the right thing? The superhero thing. That was my expectation. You didn't think she was going to go full villain? Yeah, I, I, that was yeah. totally unexpected. And, um, like we go right into the battle, too. Yeah. yeah we like, went straight the, into we it. We go straight into it. I was like, holy smokes. Mm-hmm. I mean, they did, they do explain it a bit when they get inside the building and they give her exposition. I like to call mm-hmm. it the Thanos moment where they, the bad guy explains the reasoning. I think, like, all right, our children. Okay. That's, that's a, that's a pretty good reason. <laughs> But it is acceptable. Uh, yeah. Uh, what did you think of the Illuminati scene? I feel like this is where the fans start to split up into like, I loved it and I hated it. Yeah, I haven't actually read anything on the um, the reaction of that. I thought it was fine. I thought it was kind of funny, sort of corny that they <laughs> did the Illuminati. I mean, they call it the Illuminati, but... Right. I mean, it's a throwaway line. It doesn't matter what they're called. So might as well use something that's kind of, you know... But did you know relatable. the Illuminati are... They're actually in the Marvel Universe, right? Oh, I didn't know that. So I I didn't know this either. I When when they say, like, we're the Illuminati, I was like, oh, wait, did I hear that right? Like, <laughs> like, I wasn't sure if they say... If they actually meant, it like, the Illuminati. Yeah. Or if it was like a similar name or something like that, but yeah, I guess I guess they are the Illuminati. The Illuminati. Yeah, in about that the universe. Illuminati. Okay. And and I found out later on that the Illuminati is actually like it's it's not a new thing. It wasn't made up for the movie. Like they actually exist in the Marvel oh, universe. Oh wow! Right? Or the in the comics, and uh, it the people in it are like they're 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 the true characters. Uh, the only person we were missing was uh, Iron Man. Oh, so he, Iron Man. He was Iron supposed Man to be part was, of that. Yeah. So there's actually a part 
where you see all of the figures sitting down and then there's an empty chair. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming that that is not Doctor Strange's chair. I'm assuming that it was probably Iron Man's chair, but we just never got to see him hmm. for, for whatever reason. Um, because they themselves tell you that they had to kill Doctor Strange because of what he did in their universe, uh, despite him being like, was he the founder of the Illuminati or something? He created, um, I think, that uh, he created that reality, if I understand correctly. In order yeah, to, know. for like, in, in case of like situations like this, like he was the one yeah. that he created that world or that, uh, that multiverse, that universe, in case things like this would go bad and it happened to be him that went bad. Uh, okay. That's how I understand yeah, see, it. Yeah, 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 I think you're right. I, it's been a minute and, and it is, it's, it unpacks a lot. So I don't <laughs> remember everything with a lot of clarity. So uh, for you guys in the comment section, like if, if I get something wrong, uh, let me know. And if I get something right that you agree with, let me know what you agree with. But, uh, so I, I didn't know that all of those people were going to be in it. Um, oh, you didn't, you didn't see any of uh -uh. the, spoilers. I, I saw Dang. no spoilers. How was and the so energy see, when you, uh, well, that's the thing is like, I was in a small VIP theater that I didn't even mean for it to be a VIP theater. I, hmm. <laughs> so there was like 40 people in there so yeah w there was definitely like excitement and uh, when uh, when Mr. Fantastic appears like mm. everybody gasped I gasped I like I was grabbing Amber's arm and I was like whoa it's freaking John Krasinski and uh, and then you hear uh, Professor X's voice and then you see the the, the yellow uh, cart and then you hear yeah. the little doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah they even use the theme I was like, and, and like even though that was kind of cheesy i i freaking loved it i thought that was so well placed uh it was weird because um i what was i gonna say it was it the the theater i went to we went on like a saturday afternoon evening so it would have been like prime time and there was no the, the theater was pretty full. There was no mm. reaction. Really? To any of anything. I was like the only one. I felt like I was the only one that was shocked. With both and, of them? Yeah, with everything. Did you get any gasps with the kills? No. Nah. It was a very dead theater. I don't know what was wrong with the people there. <sighs> that is a bummer. <laughs> that is such a bummer. Uh, so so moving, moving on to the deaths of, of these characters... Uh, I liked it. I liked that she killed all of them. <laughs> Actually, hold on. We'll get we'll get to 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 Professor X, but the fact that she kills Mister Fantastic. Oh no no no. Um. Oh, what's his name? Black, Black Helmet, Black Death, or <sighs> I'm sorry. I I need to look this up. He kills Marvel. Uh, Captain America, which was should be Captain Britain, but whatever. You know, I finally watched What If, because I was like, I need to figure out what happened to to uh, Captain Carter, because it didn't Wait, make sense oh, to me. Oh, you you never saw What If? Yeah. So then when when I went home, we we watched it, or I watched it. It made sense. I was like, okay, all right, cool, cool. Um, yeah, uh, I think, I think because we saw what if it was kind of cool to see Captain Carter as in live as, action, like in live action. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Where is, where's this guy? You're talking about more now? Black Bolt. Oh, Black Bolt. Oh, the that guy, that... guy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm, I'm not familiar with Black Bolt. Me um, either. I recognized the symbol on his uh, on his helmet, and I knew that he was an inhuman. That's all I knew, and uh, and it was cool to see him in in a very accurate costume for the show. Also, side note: uh, the actor that plays him uh, plays the same character in the TV show, The Inhumans, which apparently came out for one season and then it got canceled because it wasn't well received. 
And it's really interesting to me because I didn't know that that show had come out. I thought I didn't know it came out. So it was really interesting to see that that the same actor portraying the character came f- to this movie to have like one of the most horrifying deaths I've ever seen in a Marvel movie. Oh <laughs> I mean, my gosh. She goes all Matrix on him. He doesn't have a mouth and he just blows his brains from the inside. Like I was like, what? I was like, holy smokes. Okay, this is the horror portion of it. <laughs> yeah. And so I, I that was shocking to me and I, I like I liked it. Um Oh by the way, was this movie in 3D? Ooh, I, I Did you watch know. it in 3D or regular? No. regular? Yeah, I didn't. So when we bought our tickets, I didn't know it was 3D until we walked up there. And then we saw a table with the 3D glasses. I was like, is this a 3D movie? And so I was like, whatever. So we went in then and then watched the trailers and then they're like in 3D. We're like, oh, snap. <laughs> That's a guy. Oh, so you watched it in we 3D? We watched it in 3D. <laughs> so imagine seeing that guy's head blown from the inside out. In 3D, <laughs> giant. Oh man, oh that's cool. That that's and the cool. the reveal of um, Doctor Strange, the zombie. You know when they unveil his uh, his face when he's dead. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's like oh yeah, my gosh. dude. That's <laughs> the thing. Is like this. There was a moment after, like when the fights were going on, that I I thought we were. I thought it was an already movie, and we didn't know it. <laughs> Um, was it is it an r no nah, it can't be it's not it's pg-13 Holy uh smokes that's pretty graphic yeah yeah PG-13. i think 13 i i i bet he cut out just the right parts to make it pg-13 including like certain aspects of blood uh because i mean the the way she he, the, she kills uh captain carter i mean she gets split in half with her own shield like like that was pretty brutal. Um, Mr. Captain Fantastic. M- Mr. Fantastic was spaghettified. It, yeah, his was wasn't, brutal. It wasn't I, uh, gruesome though. It wasn't. It, yeah, that's the thing. It wasn't gruesome. It was just. I mean, it's horrifying in a sense, right? Like if you really think about it. Like if you really think about it, I feel like it's it's kind of a horrifying death. Um, Captain Car? No, not Captain Carter. Captain Marvel. Uh, okay, so Captain Carter's death fell a little flat because we see her in, like, Endgame and she can, like, go through this huge spaceship and destroys it with just, like, flying through it. Are you talking about Captain Marvel? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And she's, like, this super powerful being. Right. But in this universe, who's... I, I know it's not the same person, but it's, oh. it is Captain Marvel. Yeah. Um... But she's got. She's supposed to have the same powers, but then she just dies it's by crushed. rubble. Like crushed I don't know. It, it, yeah, it just felt a little like I don't know if that was true. But <laughs> for the sake of, like... for the sake of it, for the sake of the movie, like it's fine. And then the other death <sighs> I wasn't okay with, uh, was Professor X. Oh but, yeah. But I have a theory about it. Uh, because one that scene was horrifying the way zombie wanda or whatever she was comes out it just like goes snaps the neck uh like it was great um but here's the thing so i noticed online uh there's a version of the movie that's supposed to be two hours and 40 minutes which oh, would yeah, make the this... R-rated version one, right? Yeah. So I'm guessing. I'm, I'm guessing. <laughs> what am I saying? I'm guessing this is the R-rated version, and I'm hoping that when Professor X goes into the mind battlefield, I'm yeah. hoping there's a an actual battle. I don't care if it's CGI, because I I know that Patrick Stewart is old, but it would be so cool to see like. A, a, a battle a mind-blowing battle i mean no pun a pun intended i mean and uh and then ending in him like finding the rubble and just being like okay well i'm kind of tired of fighting but let me try and save you and then she appears and kills him i feel like that would be a little bit more 
credible for for a Professor X death. Yeah, I felt like that scene was really quick, but it needed to be. Yeah. Like you see him walking all of a sudden, and then he died. I had to go, okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> you reintroduce <laughs> us and goodbye. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, um, did you I have need any to make paper? a comment about the amount of eyeball zooms in this movie. <laughs> There's way too much eyeball zooms. Like, uh, watching that in 3D, <laughs> it gets nauseating when there's so many zooms into eyeball. By the way, I wouldn't recommend it in 3D. It's very do, nauseating. Do we My recommend brain, anything in 3D? Like, it was really cool seeing everything in 3D, but it just... The camera does a lot of, like, this rotating, rotating Dutch mm -hmm. angles. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I had, like, a slight headache after. I feel like this this movie, yeah, you you definitely do not want to see this in 3D. Yeah. And for I mean, 3D sucks. I I feel like 3D just sucks. I I don't know why people are so attracted to it. Um but with movies like this where like the camera movement is like a main thing from Sam Raimi and I it's one of the things that I really enjoyed about this movie is that he moves the camera a lot. There's so many like motions with the camera to achieve all these weird things. And uh, I, I know last time you said that you're not a fan of the zoom ins, but I am. I, I like the way he just goes into like face, you know, like expression or whatever. I, I think that's fun. Uh, so, yeah, that really sucks that you got to see it in 3D. <laughs> I know. Um, I th one thing that did bug me was that it was actually distracting in 3D. Because there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's reflections. There was a part, there's a lot of parts where you see his reflection on the watch. Ah, uh, yeah. And the way they did it in 3D was, it's as if, like, it was a TV on the watch. Oh. Because in reality, you know, when you're watching a reflection, it's actually seeing something distant past the watch, right? Mm -hmm. But in this case, it was as if you're watching a... Uh, it was like a smart watch with a video of Doctor Strange on it. It was, it was very weird. Oh yeah, uh, oh, yeah. That's yeah, weird. I, I, yeah. I don't think I don't a, think I would like that. Yeah, even not. <clears throat> but and talking about some of the, like nitpicking at the movie, like that kind of sort sort of thing. Um. So my rating was like, eight out of ten, maybe seven point five out of ten. Uh. And and I guess the, what what I'm what I want to say is like the things that I didn't really like. Uh, it's not a lot, but one I I feel like America didn't get the arc that she was supposed to get. I feel like uh, she was just kind of there because she's the one that she's being chased. But I feel like we didn't get a character arc from her, and I feel like she should have seen as she's a main character. Uh, so that also felt a little, I don't yeah. Know, just it just didn't land quite right with me. It was kind of like, oh, okay, yeah, I, I'm trying. I get, I guess I, I see her and who she is, and then it's like, so she ended up believing in herself in the end. Like it's, she. It's, I think the only thing that I saw with the arc was that she accepted that she needed to die. Because at the, the whole movie, she was like, oh, don't kill me, don't kill me. And then when it got to the part, it's like, oh, yeah, go ahead, take my power. You need it. And then he didn't need it anyway. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And, and like, I guess uh, that. Okay. I, again, it's kind of like so close, but I feel like something was missing. So yeah, I, I'm going to take a point off because of that. But at the same time, if they ever release that longer version, uh, maybe it'll redeem that part. And then the second part I didn't really like or not that i didn't like it but it just wasn't great in my opinion is that i feel like wanda's arc in the movie was redundant uh compared to wandavision because in wandavision so she creates this reality and she yeah. goes through these stages of grief right that's the whole point of the show it's like she's going 
through grief. And then she discovers that she's she's got this incredible and terrifying power. And she's like, oh, my goodness, I'm sorry. But then she becomes obsessed with her kids. And so she starts doing research so that she can get to her kids, which is fine. It, that's a It's a good arc in the show. But then in this movie, we start with her wanting her kids so bad that she's willing to kill all of these people just to get to the kids that are not even really hers. And then at the end of, of the movie, it's the same realization she had in WandaVision. Oh, I have all this like incredible and terrifying power that maybe I shouldn't have used. <laughs> yeah, that's I true. I guess I better die now then. So I thought it, she did accept it. Like towards the end of WandaVision, I thought she was like, you know what? This is the reality. I have to deal with it. And then she backtracks in the movie. She's like, you know what? No, I don't want this reality. I want my kids back. Yeah. And then finds out in the end again, uh, I don't want my kids back. Actually, no, the kids <laughs> reject her, but uh, no, I see yeah, what but you mean. Again, it just kind of... It's not it's not the biggest complaint. Like I still enjoy the movie. I still like it's not a bad movie and it's not a bad arc. I just feel like uh it was just a bit redundant because it comes directly from WandaVision. So if I had my two complaints, that would be it. And then the point five is just the little things here and there, like camera shots that I didn't think were good or or like uh what's her name? What's Doctor Strange's uh love interest? What's her name? Uh, hey. Crystal. Christine, I think. Christine. Yeah. Yeah. So when they're in the in the dark universe, the one that's like all destroyed, and they meet up with Dark Strange or whatever his name is. Uh, I understand that she's like super smart in her universe, and she's like studied like multiverse and all that stuff. But it was a little too convenient, and a little dumb that when the when the when the damned souls are coming out of the body and they're fighting her she like randomly finds this vase yeah, i don't know what that, and she's what like oh that? that's the vase of whatever and then she just grabs it and she just happens to know exactly what she needs to do yeah, to turn it was... into this cannon to destroy the three souls that were flying when in the other reality there was like 20 of them and so that felt him like yeah okay i guess <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was weird. I thought I missed something. I was like, Wait, yeah, because we don't get an explanation for it, and and it it's those those uh, type of things that happen in movies that I don't like. Like it, it's fine if you're gonna bring something new and interesting to the story, and that in itself is interesting, but we don't get an explanation for it. It's just kind of like an ex machina type of yeah. you know item and. And, I'm and, sure and, it's like in the comics or whatever, and but uh, I mean the fact that they left it out—that's a and that really helps Doctor Strange. That's what makes it really bad. Yeah, I mean, I, I at this point I feel like I would have accepted it if it was more of like a like a mistake. Like maybe she gets thrown to wherever this boss was, vase, whatever, and she accidentally makes it fire and then she looks at it and she's like oh wait what and then she grabs it again and tries it again and it shoots that whatever thing and she's like oh i can use this and then she uses it i feel like that would have been a, a little bit more credible at least for us the viewer that's true that's true to to see like uh how this can help in the situation rather than than her just going oh that's the thing i need right now for this specific occasion that will help me directly to move the plot forward yeah was that even <laughs> uh, needed the whole fighting the demon because in the end doesn't he just overcome dr strange overcomes it himself then accepts it right yeah like they could have done without the whole fireball scene yeah i think yeah okay i think so i think they just Fire. needed Chris, uh christina do something <laughs> and not just be like, been, ah! i know right um that one shot though my favorite shot of the whole movie was him walking up the staircase. Mm. And then you see mm. the, the horizon of the ocean, the furniture halfway through the water. I was like, man, I need a wallpaper. I need that as my wallpaper. Yeah. And that was like my yeah. favorite shot of the whole thing. It had some really cool 
uh, cinematography. And you're right, yeah. that was a really cool shot. That whole world was actually really, really cool to look at. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> Do you think that's the end of uh, Wanda slash Scarlet Witch? Did I what? Do you think that's the end of Wanda and Scarlet Witch? I think she needs to die because she's way too powerful. Yes. She's she's very OP for sure. Yeah. Um I mean keeping the theme of rubble killing super powerful beings, it made sense <laughs> <laughs> that she died by her tower. I hope she's dead. I I I like her character a lot. Um and and from her first appearance up until today it's been great. But I think she just needs to die because what else is she going to do now? Like she is overpowerful. Um I mean technically she's the superhero. Now she's a superhero that any threat comes and she can just be like, "Oh, no, this is not what I wanted to be." And she can just do it, right? Yeah. It's funny because um, Captain Marvel was supposed to be that. Yeah, but Captain Marvel, she's... Okay, like, uh, the superhero is cool, but yeah. the character in the movie is not. Because, yeah. again, in Endgame, she comes and destroys this spaceship with just, like, one hit, just flying in, you know, from outer space. But then she goes and she needs to fight Thanos, like, you know, like, she 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 went from, like, super powerful to... Oh, I'm I'm like at the same level as Thanos, if not a little bit less, because I can't be the one to defeat him. And so yeah. it's like you need to decide, like, are you super powerful or are you not? And I feel like WandaVision is at that point where like she's super powerful. And if we ever see her again, like this version of her, and she is not even half as powerful as she was in this movie, it it destroys the credibility. Yeah. Uh I agree. So I hope she dies. I, I I don't think she is because her death was off screen. Uh, so if she makes an appearance, I'm like, well, yeah, because we didn't see her die. She was probably just buried. I think I heard him talking about um, doing a solo movie. For her? Or, yeah. I don't know if that's true, but I, I guess uh, Elizabeth Olsen was talking about that it's time for Wanda to get her own solo movie. But I don't know. Don't know if that's true. I don't know. I mean, if if they focus on a different Wanda story, I guess I would accept it. But I don't want to. I don't want them to do something like they did with Black Widow. I I get that yeah. Black Widow was supposed to come out before the movie actually came out, but I feel like the movie was just kind of like, she's dead. Why Why do we have a movie about her two years after she dies? They could do, um, now that they've introduced the other Wanda, they might do oh, a story on one? her. Yeah. And then just pull her in from universe. 818 or something. I don't know. Because it was weird when, um, when Wanda stopped possessing that Wanda, right? Yeah. And she's like, oh, I got to get back to my children. Like, that was kind of a weird, um seen or shot i guess it, it explains how she got back to her children but at the same time if we weren't going to care about this new wand as much then that sh that shot would have been unnecessary but the fact that we had that shot gave us a little um what's the word to cheer on on this new wanda so i think maybe yeah so maybe they might do a reset with Wanda. I think they did that before, didn't they? With another Avenger or something. I don't remember. Mm. What am I? There's a uh... show. I don't know if it's a... Maybe it's not Marvel or a show, but it was like a... I think it was Loki. There it is. Yeah, Loki. Oh. Because okay. now the Loki right. we're watching is previous Loki. Yeah, because you know? the Loki that we knew died. Yeah. So that's You're right. I think they might do that. Okay. All right. All right, you know what? I'll give it a chance. I'm not gonna hate on it. I, I guess, I guess what I'm trying to say is, I don't want this Wanda to be alive. I want this Wanda to be dead. And if we get a new, uh, a different variant of Wanda, who is still innocent, I'll take it. 
<laughs> I think that'll work. Because then we don't have to address the whole Scarlet Witch thing. We don't have to address the Dark Hold. She's just Wanda that the Wanda that we know for Infinity War. I think that would work. 